Hello everyone and welcome back to our Community Road to Glory series featuring Brad Broadway. He's back on the practice field. He's got one game under his belt now as they uh, came up short in overtime against Maryland and he caught just under um, uh, 100 yards uh, passing in that first game. So back to the practice field, getting ready for a lesser opponent, uh, which is the uh, FCS West uh, Bulldogs, uh, which is of course a fictitious team here. It's a placeholder for the for the subdivision teams. So uh, anyway, that's who we get for um, for Brad's first home game here with the midshipmen. And as that loads up here, we get ready um, to take the field and you see the pregame going on here. Brad getting psyched up for um, uh, his first uh, game in front of the home crowd here. So uh, we will get to the coin toss and um, looks like uh, Navy wins it here. So we'll get the ball first. So Brad to take the field here as soon as we're ready. And of course, this is a uh, team that runs uh, quite a bit of option. There's an awesome block by Brad, but unfortunately, uh, the offense goes backwards on that play. This one coming to his side. A little bit uh, better result here as he's uh, trying to pick up some blocks uh, for that option offense here. But uh, sooner or later, they're going to have to open it up for him. Um, and uh, it looks like it's going to be later here as he misses a block. But they actually do uh, scamper to the other side into the end zone there, uh, running options. So touchdowns on the board, and it's 7-0 here. And uh, here I've got a bit of an option myself uh, to run routes here, find a spot open in the defense, and take advantage of that for a first down. So a nice catch to uh, get Brad warm in this game here. So uh, now here he's getting a little bump coverage, and he's uh, covered pretty well, actually. So he'll get downfield and uh, get some blocks uh, after the... Uh, the play develops downfield, so second and four here, and uh, g getting some more blocking done, uh, allowing his uh, guy to get a first down here. So, so far Brad uh, has got the one catch, but uh, he's looking for more here, and I don't know what kind of coverage that was supposed to be, if that was zone or whatever, but it looked like it was blown, because Brad blew right by them all, and into the end zone. And so, uh, there's the touchdown, he's going to go all the way over to the other side to celebrate with the mascot here as he uh, decides to do the poses here. You see him posing. So, uh, oh yes, there you go, showing off the arm strength. So anyway, that's Brad's first uh, first collegiate touchdown, I do believe, because I, I think he was held off the board last week. So here's an awful pitch to the defense. Uh, yeah, so that's not how you want to run option. Anyway, a uh, little bump coverage. Uh, they they uh, did the bump and completely forgot about the run as <laughs> Brad calls for the ball and gets an easy touchdown here. Um, and once again, going back to the mascot to uh, to celebrate. So uh, taking his time here, definitely. There you go. So, uh, yeah, so they went bump and run. They bumped him, and they basically watched him run to the end zone. So two touchdowns now for Brad, and it's all uh, – going crazy here in the second quarter as he gets open once again he's just burning this corner big time here and you know it's lesser competition but uh, still he's pouring it on all here in the second quarter here's a nice little route to get him his third touchdown of the day so a busy third quarter for Brad as he scores three times and uh, it's a 28 nothing lead for Navy things looking uh, pretty good here here he's uh, working on being a possession receiver catching that ball over the middle uh, I guess he got bored of running goes. So uh, here again, open. Now, if this ball had been thrown to a better spot, just upfield and set it to the sideline, I think it would have been another touchdown. But uh, he caught, caught the ball out of bounds there. So here um, again, getting upfield and getting blocks as uh, Navy continues to move the ball 28-7 now. As uh, once again, he gets open for another nice catch. And um, Brad just racking up the yardage now. Uh, looking possibly for uh, another score. Would be nice to get a fourth, I suppose. Uh, instead, he gets down and gets a block. And, oh, they're almost in the end zone there. So, um, first and goal, they will run uh, away from Brad's side. So, uh, just uh, locks up his man a little bit there, and they get the easy touchdown. So, there you go. The second game, the first at home in the books. Brad has a monster game with three touchdowns, and Navy wins 35-7, as they should with an inferior opponent. As you'll see a couple of his uh, bigger replays here. Um, that was uh, the bump and run touchdown there, the longest one on the day. 
and you'll see one of the others uh, right after this. Here you go. That was, I believe, the first. Yep, that was the first one. So he scores three times in the days. Let's check out the stats. Seven catches for 198 yards and three uh, receiving touchdowns. Long of 75, average of 28. Aaron Andrews has a report on Brad coming up right now. There's still a long way to go in the college football season, but our student athlete is off to a good start after a fine performance this week. Freshmen rarely make an impact this big. He's already well on his way to becoming a legend. And for Navy, it's time to celebrate a new record. This week, he gained more receiving yards than anyone in history. Kirk Herbstreet joins us now to break down this historic game. Thanks, EA. For Navy, there's little to complain about this week. They won in convincing fashion. Our road to glory subject played a major role in this team getting the victory. Aaron, just before I called you, I received word that he's been honored as the Conference Player of the Week for his performance. He did an excellent job of getting himself into position to make a lot of great catches. He just had one of those days where everything seemed to come together. And he was able to make some huge plays for his team. There's no doubt about this guy's season getting off to a great start. Look for him to be a shining star throughout the entire season. Back to you, EA. All right, Kirk. We appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of our Road to Glory series. This young man is sure to make waves again soon, and we'll be there to bring you a full report. For EA Sports, I'm Erin Andrews. Damn it, she was off sync again, but still very easy on the eyes. So anyway, there you heard it. He, uh, uh, Brad, set a uh, single game uh, record for uh, receiving yards uh, for in school history for Navy. So there you go. So you see some of the things here. Big game. He was already named player of the game. He was named conference uh, player of the week, uh, Herb Street said there. And if you look in personal goals, he's already broken a school record. Not too bad for two games there. Also become a starter in a five-star caliber pretty fun when you can come in as a freshman and uh, set a record right off the bat there so uh, even if it is against uh, a pretty poor uh, uh, second rate team so you see some of the stats there 12 receptions for almost 300 yards and averaging just under a shade under 25 a catch uh, with the longest being 75 so not too bad here you see the skills it's looking pretty good so uh, be sure to come on back as he gets ready for game number three and continues the career see you guys